Nice. I wonder who bought this new 8R370 and 24-row 1775 NT planter. Sheesh. Dad wanted me to come and pick this thing up from the dealership, so here I am. Always yield. This thing's kind of nice. Somehow, I made it into the driveway. This is actually the first time I've ever driven a tractor and a planter down the road. Everything else on the farm I've done, but not this. And honestly, this is a view that I could get used to. Yep. It's a great day to be a farmer. Farming home time. Didn't have quite what I wanted, but I did get a pair of cheap pliers for my cheap toolbox. And when I say the cheap toolbox, tool I mean tools that are cheap, like Harbor Freight brand stuff, a free toolbox, and I probably have less than $100 in the whole thing. If you've been viewing recently, you will know that uh, we've been cleaning up this farm here, and that's a big brush pile. That's 240. That's my grandpa's service truck. That said, I'm not too sure where grandpa's at because I kind of needed to talk to him. Brush piles for days. Chase says, hey dad, take video of ammonia for me. So that's what I'm gonna do. It is Friday, April 2nd. Uh, I am still putting on ammonia. Still with the 460R. 21 knife Dalton toolbar. Actually, in a real nice running bottom field here today. About 160 acres. Uh, nice long rows. We do have a ditch here to cross. Just a little PTO ditch. Help drain this bottom field. Go across that, not too bad. I should be planting Monday, maybe Tuesday. We actually, just got our planter finished up today. Otherwise, I would probably be planning today. But, there you go. I actually went to Farm and Home to see if I could find about 50 feet of uh, this garden fence wire. This morning before my mom left, she decreed that there needed to be a fence around the garden today. So that's what I did for most of the day today. And I wasn't going to video that because that was kind of boring. And it probably would have made me look kind of stupid because I'm a row crop man. I take out fences, I don't put them up. And our drain tile here for the garden is settling down just a little bit. I need to dig around it a couple inches with a shovel, a little dog, and put gravel in it so that the dirt doesn't wash, wash down through the tile. But, but this is how my fence looks. This is the first side that I built, so it doesn't look as nice as the others. This was the third side that I built, so I had kind of figured out what to do. You know what? That's pretty straight, that's like, this is okay, this is acceptable. Unfortunately, Farm and Home does not sell 50 feet of this type of wire. You have to buy a $180, 100 foot roll. I really don't need that much, but yeah, whatever. All that wire to keep $20 chickens out of the garden. Attack, attack. I think my attack dog is broken. All right, so this is why you have to pay attention when you're out in the field, even with auto steer. This was uh, laying out in the field. Actually pretty nice. Would have been uh, half of an eight pointer. Nice long times, but you don't want to find that in your tire. That's a bad day. So it has stopped, pick that up, take it home, give it to the dog, let her chew on it. Here's our video Lee kitty cat update. Meow. So we have a slight problem. This vapor line got pinched by that when we folded up the last time spewing a little bit of vapor so got new hose got to replace that all right five minutes later got a new piece of hose it looks to be looped up out and around so we don't have any more trouble with it getting pinched we'll see how it goes i just got a quick bite to eat and i'm gonna go video dad putting on ammonia that's kind of neat nice big wide open fields this kind of running right here is the ground that you can get out and cover some acres in a day in. This is what Illinois is like, or some parts of Illinois anyway. And here comes dad right now.
through our very sophisticated hand signal system, dad told me to stay over here and not chase him, I don't know, the half mile down the field. This farm here has some really good running. Many of the places that we farm are very small fields, kind of patchy, not square shape. This is an exception. I mean, look, do you see anything to go around out here? There's nothing. That little speck right there is a John Deere 9460R with a 50 foot ammonia bar. This field makes that look small. The guys that were farming this like 50 years ago, they used a John Deere A, an eight foot disc and a three bottom plow. Think about trying to farm this with that kind of equipment. Here's the end cap view from my perspective. There's dad, ammonia bar and the long marshmallow tanks. Tell them what, tell them what's gonna happen. So, so now you say, the, the good news is that we're not gonna run out in this field. We're gonna run out in the next one. Of course, yeah. At the wrong end of the field. You're supposed to say, the good, the good news is blah, 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 blah. The good news is that we didn't run out of ammonia in that field, but we're gonna run out of it halfway across this one. <laughs> Come on. I don't I don't talk on cue. You don't talk on cue? No. Dad wanted me to help him hook up this ammonia tank here. So I'm gonna stand right here and then once he gets close enough to where we can extend this draw bar, I'm gonna give him the signal. Maybe. Okay, well typically Since I've done pretty much nothing all day, I figured I should do what dad told me and load up the skid steer and some of the attachments over here and take it back to the house. That's relatively secured, so we're gonna head on down the road. Probably the scariest job here on the farm that I've ever done is back the skid steer off the trailer. Wow, not fun. And I haven't even gotten down yet. Is there, it, this thing has two tracks, so there's no, like it, it does this. It doesn't like gracefully float down. It just tips very violently, I might add. Earlier today, Grandpa requested that I hook up our new 9620RX to our field cultivator in preparation for spring. Now this, this is kind of nice. Grandpa gave the command just now. I am going to go get the tractor and the disc. And I get to work ground. Nice. And I did get the tractor and the cultivator hooked up. And I also, I was just sitting back here talking with Grandpa on the phone. And I noticed there's this double bitted ax head back here. That's kind of neat. Good girl. Oops, I just killed the tractor. Put it in park and turn the key again and try it with it more shallow in the ground. What we're doing here with this uh, tillage operation is we're going over the places that Grandpa and I had cleared off in our previous videos here. And we're turning it from sod into semi-farmable dirt, kind of. Just a couple passes with a tillage tool like this or a larger disc will turn your local defunct Kmart parking lot that you're paying rent on into grade A Illinois farm ground. Making the old girl work a little bit, pulling this thing up the hill. It doesn't help that uh, this farm apparently is kind of wet. There's terraces all over this hillside and they go into the woods here, except here's the thing about terraces in the woods. The woods was not there before the terrace. The terrace had to have been built when there was no trees there. So that is our justification for going in and probably pushing this back further. Probably not gonna be able to farm all of it, but we're gonna at least be able to farm more of it. There's two kind of river bottom fields on this farm. And this has been caused by that brush pile, which has now been partially burned, I think, or at least rearranged. The field used to be kind of square-ish, but the river kind of ate away right there because that brush pile right here was blocking the flow of the water. 
So it was making an eddy and coming back here and eating away at the bank. I'm gonna be the first tractor in history to cross this crossing right here that Grandpa built. So far, so good. Hopefully I don't get stuck down here. That wouldn't be a good time. What internet farmer would I be if I didn't get out of the tractor and stop to admire this wonderful sunset and get a quick pic of this for Snapchat? Ladies love tractors. Well, actually, that's a joke. They really don't. Now we're kind of getting into the easy part of this job, which is you press the button, the tractor goes straight, and you turn it around. Now is the time, if you're a dude and you don't have a girlfriend, this is when you Snapchat girls. I mean, you know. <laughs> Here we're coming to the end of this pass. Hydraulic up, turn around. Get over to about here. Frantically press the auto steer button, set back down. Rinse and repeat. I have suffered long enough. It is time. We wouldn't normally disc ground that we're just gonna plant to corn because it would normally be in bean stubble. But this ground was in corn last year and dad's gonna put the whole place in corn this year. So we have to control that residue so the ammonia, ammonia bar can get through it. And we put tile lines in. Tile lines make it very, very rough. So this disc try, attempts to smooth it out. However, it is not a finishing tool. Let me just make that clear. Well, good news, last pass for the night. Uh, bad news. I always end up at the wrong end of the field and it's about 2,900 feet back to the road. So I have to drive back without the implement in the ground. This is the last pass, so I don't, no more ammonia to put on this field. It never fails. And this farm here, we always end up the wrong end of the field, no matter what you're doing. So some of the stuff that I disked up that wasn't grass really wasn't in grass for any particular reason. But there was one spot that now I know why it was in grass and that's because there's a giant wet spot in the middle of it. Ask me how I know. And unfortunately, I think I did some deep tillage with the tractor tires. Once I get up to the road, I'm gonna fold up and I'm gonna head home. That's enough of this for tonight. My buddy in the Navy is back in town for the weekend and I need to go see him. Grandpa's gonna take the 9330 and the scraper over to the farm we were working at to uh, do some dirt work over there. Good afternoon. Hey, mama. And we have an escapee. Let's go. Time to the yard. That's what a yard's supposed to look like. Unfortunately, mowing, you have to wear earplugs protect your ears and you also pick up random stuff like a wine bottle by the highway and a disintegrated semi-tire you also incidentally get a bunch of grass all over yourself while you're mowing march bean update so they're not dead because they're right here at the tip of my knife you can see there's one he's trying to come up there's not, none of them are up in rows yet or anything. I think that I planted them a little too deep. I can for sure say that they are not dead. Maybe pretty close, but not dead yet. Well, it's five o'clock now, and I wanna try and get back to Columbia, Missouri before the sun goes down, so I'm probably gonna have to leave pretty quick. But with that said, thank you everyone for watching the videos. I've gained 300 subscribers the past three days since I released the video of us getting the new 9620 RX did have some haters in the comments on that video. They're kind of funny. You should go read them. Thanks for watching. I appreciate everyone, each and every one of you that watches. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. I hope you stick around for my journey from a nobody on YouTube to maybe someone. Just maybe.